And welcome to Eugene, Oregon. Autzen Stadium, home of the 121st edition of the Civil War. The Ducks, six and five, already bowl eligible, getting set to tangle with Oregon State. The Beavers have lost their last nine. Well, look at the series history, the fifth most played rivalry in the FBS, first meeting all the way back in 1894, and they have played, in fact, every single season since 1945. No surprise there. We should have a lot of fun here tonight in Chile, Eugene. 15, and the Ducks with prime field position. And Justin Herbert, Tom, the numbers speak for themselves once again. 5-1 and one when he steps in as the starting quarterback. And without them, not only the 1-4 and four mark, but they're not able to score. Well, Roy, it's just spectacular when you look at the numbers and the whole team went crazy. Play action, Herbert. Has his man, first down, plus territory, shoved out of bounds after a nice pickup of 18 yards by Sean Wilson. Torious in this Civil War affair last year by 10 in Corvallis, and that has been a priority focal point for the Ducks going all the way back to the offseason. And there goes Freeman. Tripped up short of the 10, a gain of 14, and the Ducks having their way on offense thus far. Well, Roy, you know, they're letting Herbert talk numbers and and Oregon State's trying to disguise a little bit they just don't have enough guys in the box these are their second leading tacklers and anytime that happens you know you're giving a lot a lot up in the interior but that was a nice play by Jalen Moore so a 31 yard field goal attempt set to go down off the right foot of Aiden Schneider third team All-American two years ago and right between the pipes to start this one tonight in the process. On the swing pass. Nowhere to run for Ryan Null. Ball popped out late. And let's see what the ruling is. What he's done in his body of work, Roy, it's just it's tremendous how many yards he's gained for the Ducks. Freeman to the edge. Freeman off to the races. And sandwiched between a trio of Oregon State defenders after a gain of 22. Boy, and I tell you what. Big rivalry there. Another big one here with the Civil War. Freeman. End zone. Touchdown. 59 career rushing touchdowns. He has tied Ken Simonton for the all-time lead in the Pac-12 with that march right there. And already a busy Saturday afternoon. Herbert on third down. Looking deep. Fires it long. Pass will be... Caught in the back of the end zone for the touchdown. Dylan Mitchell, his third scoring grab of the season. Tom, that one coming. The barrels and just say, hey, we're going to throw everything we can at the Ducks. And that time they caught the Ducks in an aggressive defense and capitalized on it. Nelson from his four. An explosive returner. Nelson with a crease. Keeps the play alive. And Nelson, lasso from behind, just short of the 40-yard line. That's a return of 35. Regular season career here tonight in Eugene. Yeah, Royce Freeman probably has the app, too. He'll fake the jet sweep. Herbert to the air. Wide open. Oregon. Passes. Reeled in just short of the 10-yard line. He bobbled it for a moment, and Johnny Johnson hitting the turf simultaneously. Back now to live action across the middle for the touchdown, and that's Jacob Breland. Fifth touchdown of the season for the tight end, Jacob Breland. Touchdown, now he's 4-4. That's a crucial first down. See the numbers on Freeman breaking records left and right. Schooler has it near side grab, shoved out short of the 10. First reception. Schooler, a former safety last year. Here's Freeman with a pass, touchdown. And that breaks the record. No one has scored more rushing touchdowns in the Pac 12 than Royce Freeman and Mama. Pretty emotional about that last touch. Also, Mario Cristobal, who was the head coach at FIU. See if the Ducks try to take a shot. Instead, it's red. Jet sweep. Red towards the end zone. (laughs) 
And the Ducks are rolling. Boy, the explosive. Johnson, the new running back. Two-man route. Down the field goes Garrettson, and he's picked up. Thomas Graham picked him off. Third career interception for number four in green. And he'll tackle. Nice run. Touchdown. Justin Herbert calls his own number. And the Ducks strike again. <laughs> Talking about how the, how the bride-to-be was going to lose her mind. It was just all over the place. It went viral. <laughs> Herbert flings at Dave Mitchell. Open. Touchdown, Ducks. Yes, sir. And Tom, there are receivers. Five-yard effort. And on senior night, Schneider remains perfect. 55 to seven, halfway through the third quarter. Milk healing damaged collarbones to get you back on the field. Null motions out on third down. Garrettson batted down. Jelks got there and it's picked off. And the Ducks for the pick six, Justin Hollins. Well, 61 on the board, Tom. Well, when the defense scores, it becomes a route, Roy. And, and Jalen Jelks, number 97, he's batted several passes down tonight. Justin Hollins, the outside linebacker, grabbing. The Undefeated team remaining out of a Power 5 conference. So the Badgers are right there ready and waiting. They shut out Minnesota tonight. Well, and I'm going to keep banging the drum for UCF. And Benoit is off to the races for Oregon. And what a way for his senior campaign to conclude. A 47-yard scoring scamper, and that touchdown means that Oregon has put up more points tonight than any team in the history of the Civil War rivalry, breaking its own record established back in 2008 of 65. Well, Kenai Benoit, 47-yard jaunt. I'll just call that because he hits the hole, and really no one's there on the second level for Oregon State and you know they play a risky gambling a little humidity up here a little bit <laughs> and a very big win tonight for Willie Taggart and the Oregon Ducks largest margin of victory in the history of this great rivalry final score tonight from Eugene 69 to 10 the Ducks improved to 7 and 5 Oregon State falls to 1 and 11 but college football continues with Utah State and Air Force as we send you out to Falcon Stadium in Colorado Springs.